Hey guys, Crew of Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Cal. Aaron. And we are back with Peacemaker, where last time... The makers of the peace. Oh Everyone's a butterfly. I don't know. It might be what the intro is telling us. At the very least... Yeah. <laughs> At Maybe the very the least, the uh, our uh, our team leader is seems to be a butterfly. Mm. <laughs> they don't make that noise. Right? It's more of like a foreskin peeling back sound. No, it's not that either. It's, that's not... That's not what that sounds like. No. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> he got distracted. Um, <clears throat> we also we had, had an amazing the, scene uh, in the prison that I absolutely loved. I really yeah. liked that a whole lot, too. Vigilante. Mm -hmm. So much. I hope he's going to be safe, though. Will he be safe? Will he be all right? We don't know. Yeah, we had a poll last time, though. The poll was, do you think the butterflies... Have good or ill intent for humanity. 18% uh, said ill. 22% said good. 58% said neither. They don't give a shit about humanity. They just are here. Hmm. That's what people are saying, though. But that could be bad, though. You know. Like, most humans don't necessarily give a shit about ants. Mm -hmm. Sure. But and they still run over ant yeah. hills. Yeah, you know, so that's yeah. bad. True, but I also sometimes will gas them with lethal pesticides, and that seems ill intent. You'll gas ants? <laughs> no, I don't do that. <laughs> Free Fish says if Waller sent in a team to kill them, they can't be that bad. It's true. <laughs> Josh Borman says if they go into your head and take control of your mind, how could it be good intentions? But who knows? Maybe they're protecting you from a virus or something. Or maybe they're the answer to like something like Project Starfish, where it would go into your mind and kill you and use your body as a puppet. Or maybe they were never really people, and the butterflies is like, that's the chrysalis thing that they've made on their own. Ross Clark says, considering it looked concerned when Peacemaker was having a breakdown, I'd say they're not that evil. Like, how come, like, when the when the ones have flown out, they don't, like, fly to another person, you know? Like, lots of times those parasite things, like, you look at, like, like the venom parasite, right? The symbiote? Mm -hmm. When it leaves someone, it's trying to find something else to go to right sure. away, you know? Because it needs a host. Yeah. Like, that butterfly crawled out of that dude's head, and then there were two people, one guy tied up. And he didn't jump into his body right away. Maybe it has to go in through the mouth, and if you're awake, you just bite it in half. Or maybe you just get them high, and they're like, you know what? I don't know what we were doing. <laughs> sure. Pass the Cheetos. <laughs> we'll end with Ricky Woodson, who has a very developed theory. Oh. This is my crazy theory. The butterflies are good and only inhabit the bodies of bad people because they know their host dies, hence why they are in Mern's body. The government, via Waller's job, is to fight perceived evil, hence why Task Force X, a group of villains, is off book. If all the bad people in the world are gone, via the butterflies, a.k.a. they create a utopia and peace, all of their jobs would be gone. What job does a war profiteer have when there are no more wars? Can you repeat that? So... <laughs> No. Butterflies are taking over bad people. No sure. more bad people. No more it war. No war. No Amanda with Waller. The idea of Mern saying before that he didn't express feelings or have emotions or anything mm -hmm. like could that be a like was that him really saying it? Was the butterfly really saying it? Was the butterfly speaking yeah. its feelings? I don't think it's it's fully one way or the other. Like was it whether, even affected then? Well, it, there might have been a butterfly in him at that point, but it was trying to guide him towards. More empathy, more feeling, and stuff like that. It's like I'm trying to get mm. in touch with my feelings. What if we're all already infected with butterflies? Could be. Jason says maybe it isn't a butterfly that's inside of Mern. Maybe it's another race of small alien insects like moths or bees, and they're having an intergalactic war with the butterflies. That's why Mern is so intent on killing them. Maybe it's not a, a butterfly inside of Mern. Maybe it's a Mern outside of a butterfly. Eagly. Got him as a squirrel. It's very meaningful to me, but no. No. I'm not gonna eat it. Love you too, buddy. 
I'm a pet bald eagle. <laughs> if they were like that, that'd be yeah, great. Yeah, wouldn't that be sweet? As it is, it's a felony. <laughs> <laughs> Placed the diary at Peacemakers. The ends of the human body through one of its orifices and ah! the brain, where they then in control of the body. They go through the butt? The butt is an orifice. Okay. That means they'd have to crawl through poop. Just because they're aliens doesn't make them gross. <laughs> Bigotry. Superman's an alien. He's got a poop fetish. Get what? The fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. He uberly bathes the old shizes. I understand it. Where do you get this nonsense? Google. Well, it's <laughs> not true. You know more than Google? Well, congratulations. The butterflies' unique genetic structure and chemistry interact with the host bodies, giving them strength far beyond that of a human being. And what's the chimp for? Chimpanzees have four times the strength of human beings, so they're both strong. <laughs> yeah, we're supposed to get that just by looking at this guy here? I thought that meant. Wait, there's a gorilla that escaped, though. I was thinking they were about to go on an adventure together. Ah, ah, you fucking suck at PowerPoint, Tybeard! Yeah, well, you can do it next time. It's not like I enjoy doing this. Yeah, you do. He made it It's explicit. amazing the incredible amount of time you put into this presentation and how incredibly shitty it still is. Okay, Peacemaker, shut up. Dude, I didn't mean to put your father in prison. Then why'd you put him there, you fat fuck? Because I couldn't think of anybody else. What about Ariana Grande or Drake? What? Brad Pitt or Payne Stewart or Doug the Pug? Chloe Kardashian, the red tiger from... I love that his beard is getting bigger and you can see the real color. Yeah. Eugene Levy? Fuck you, John. Love it. Shut the fuck up and listen, man. Eugene Levy, why? You could have done Danny DeVito, Will Ferrell, Howard Stern, Baba Booey, Robin Ophelia, Quivers, Alice Cooper, Ozzy Osbourne, Sharon Osbourne, Bill Cosby. He just got out. He's got time on his hands. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Whitehouse is fucking dead. Optimus Prime, Shipwreck, Cobra Commander, the fucking cunts from Riverdale. <laughs> Which one? All of them? Do you all want to be here till tomorrow? Do you have cable? No, I don't want to see her overnight so there's no cable. Bar goes on tonight. There are movies. It was a rhetorical question. Oh, okay. Well, then I changed my answer to just ignoring the question. He wrote that really quickly. And Bar goes not on until tomorrow night, you fucking nerd. <laughs> do you really want to, do you really want to say? I've tried to draw, like, signs like that. What? Eat shit? <laughs> well, Whatever. like, big scribbly words so that you show it to the camera. It takes forever. <laughs> yeah. Can't prove it now, can they, Lucy Lou? Ugh. Lucy Lou, because we're both Asian. How incredibly fucking clever. What should I call you, Jimmy Fallon? <laughs> the problem is, <laughs> we found the car that was there that night. That ain't my car. Registration says otherwise, Guy Fieri. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And your fingerprints, Blake Shelton, are all over the murder victim's apartment. I'm running out of white guys. Just take my face. Because I didn't fucking do it. Then who did? My shithead fucking son. You rat! He's a rat. He's a rat. It's the worst thing you could be. Like how you used to call my brother Prince Charming. My brother was a handsome man. That was a compliment. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that I don't think he considered it a compliment that you called him Prince Charming because his penis was shaped like a scepter. <laughs> Why are you saying their penises? It's a locker room, dude. What are you going to do? Look at a towel? So you just stare at each other's dicks and come up with names for them? Yeah. My friend Bainey McBainerstein said I was like a gypsy with dicks instead of palms. I had a friend named Trimmer. Tell me I was abusive. I do like your people's noodles. You got that? Nice base. Not heavy on the cars like the watch. Well, I'm glad I invented them then. Fuck you! Fuck them! I'm the world, you! Alright, that's enough. I can't. Hate. Those lyrics. Fuck you! Fuck them! And fuck the world, too. Lift Street Kids? No, it says 11th Street Kids. Dude, that's one of our best songs. Yeah. I saw him in Finland when I was. Uh oh, they're gonna. Like, relate. Right yeah, they're gonna bond. Something other than your usual sledgehammer. One of these days, Myrna, I'm, I'm barely bald peeing. I'll take care of you. Hey. Okay. Where are we going? To talk to those supposed witnesses. Uh oh. <laughs> the couple. They just duct taped their door back together. Yeah. They made us do it. We were afraid for our lives. Heather, you fucking pussy. 
<laughs> so we're gonna free the damn white dragon? We have no choice. We have to if we're gonna arrest his son. No. Just... All right, that might be overkill. Does it have the dev of peace? We're not even what sure helmet does he have on? That's overkill. I, I own that. I definitely own that. What the hell? It's steaming and smoking so bad. Yeah. Get some goddamn oil. It's probably just exhaust. <laughs> Chainsaw. So not fair. Alright, we're gonna kill someone with a chainsaw at some point, right? Probably. Fucking bullshit. Vigilante, you're with me. We'll check the base around the Yeah. Activate X ray vision. X ray vision helmet. Hey, how you doing? Okay, how are you? Doing? Yep. Can you see butterflies? Yep. Vision. He's seen the brains. Oh Jesus, that was practical. It looked so good. It did look really good, but also i.e. disgusting. The really, the signal that shot her head off. Ah, oh. oh, fuck. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it just sucks that he can't have that all in one helmet. He has to have a bunch of different helmets. Yeah. Damn. Get more comfortable. You don't shooting. have to shoot people out there to kill you. Right. <laughs> good thing she got a work shirt on. With splatters. Kind of blends in. Oh shit, man. Body snatcher. Body shit. snatchers. Uh... Oh, oh shit. fuck! That was practical too. That was great. That guy went for that door. Yeah. They won't last long. Who's Charlie? Our guardian angel. Looks like he's been slacking. Damn. So, so if a butterfly goes into a monkey, is it like exponentially stronger? Yeah, like is it, it like four six, times. So it's is like it four sixteen times, times the... stronger than a human, or is it just four times stronger than a? Wow, that would still be. Fuck. What was the gorilla's name? Charlie. There's a fucking gun. It's the gorilla. Arcor, do you copy? Our Did guardian you angel. Hold this. Okay. What's he got? You fucking around. You've been fucking around? Oh, is he switching helmets or what? Yo, what the hell is that? It's a grenade. I tied to a Russian tank shell. Why not just the grenade? The grenade blows up like two people. How many people does this blow up? I don't know. I did this morning. What? Eat peace, motherfuckers. Eat peace. Bobby's not beat. It's an artillery shell. I'm gonna say it blows up like 20 people. Damn. Hardcore. Out of bio, anyone. A grenade blows up like two people. <laughs> Is the door still there? Nope. It's open. Is that predator blood? <laughs> What's that? I think no, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a safety vest. Oh, shit! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> he bit his gun. Oh, nice strong. Guy. Oh, the kick. That was cool. Is she still alive? Oh. Ow! Damn! Damn. Okay. Wish I had a chainsaw. Uh, poor Charlie. Oh man, he just slumped. Hey, talk. The chainsaw. Oh man. Oh, he brought the chainsaw. Short. Shaky hand. <laughs> you fucking stunt! 
I am. I'm so I'm fucking stuck. He's come in clutch twice now. Yeah. I could have held his about everything. I feel bad for Charlie. I got his fingerprint results back from the lab. They matched the birth to the crime scene. They specifically didn't. Captain, what the hell is going on? Uh, Where's Captain Mealy? Well, the mayor wasn't pleased with the performance around the Sturp House and murder, so I'm replacing her. Let me take the rest of the night off. Give yourself a well-deserved rest. I don't need a rest. Run your request, detective. I knew this guy from somewhere. He was the one talking to Myrna earlier. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. <laughs> I mean, from another TV show or something. Like Robocop or something. I don't know. Calvin, he's been in the scene the, the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang, you're right. <sighs> we guess this means butterflies can use any life form as a host. Chihuahua? Probably wouldn't fit. Would be cool, though. That wouldn't be cool at all. Why would that be cool? You tell me. <laughs> it wouldn't be. There's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> He's insane. I had just said how much I wanted to kill someone with a chainsaw like 50 minutes earlier, and then Economos just coincidentally comes in and kills someone with one? I mean, it kind of seems like he was trying to fuck with me a little. Fucking <sighs> He still works? Man. He's in the group too good. Cool, she's starting to kind of blend in with him a little bit better. Connect with people. What? When he's in a mermaid. Kite, Kite man. This you and your brother? Kite, Kite man. man is canon in the DCU, Aaron. Uh, Kite man. <laughs> <laughs> There's no joy in his eyes. Do you just have a beard? She's gonna put the helmet on. Mmm, see butterflies. Yo, Mr. Murray, this is crazy. You gotta check this. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> well, motherfucker! What happens? That was so loud! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Who was that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. These ain't butterflies, man. I don't understand. Yeah, what is his goal? Why do you send them there and they blew up everything? You know, he is a butterfly. Unless there are like warring factions of butterflies or like rebels that want to stop the whole. I don't know. Like maybe. Maybe we were thinking about it backwards. Maybe the butterflies are bad. And mm -hmm. he is a rebel butterfly trying to stop them. Mm-hmm. Because he's trying to get in touch with his feelings. Can but he, why is he like, when you find out it's a butterfly, he's like, and he goes. Can he, he gonna... turn her into butterfly person? Or like, what's their, like. They enter your orifices. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do we get more butterflies? Bring spaceships. Did it start with just... Am I wrong? <laughs> like, how do they propagate? I don't yeah, think exactly. they... Like, is there, is there a way for him to be able to... Like, can Mern turn her into a butterfly as well? Does he have them on standby? Can he, like, just like, make some or some shit? Like, what's the process of getting more? I don't like, think he can. how do they spread? Can. Or do you, like, you have to, like, get another butterfly, get them out of their heads, take the butterflies, they bang, you get a little butterfly? I think when, yeah, when two butterflies love each other... Very much. And they yeah, but how many flowers make a do you need? Responsible decision, and talk about things. I don't think flowers bang. I think they do like some kind of 
egg thing. Flowers, I mean, they don't do egg things. They do pollens and and stuff like that. I wonder if like a video. Is there like butterfly porn? <laughs> butterfly porn? Sure. <laughs> National Geographic. Didn't we have a Doom Patrol thing and you said the butterflies were doing something? Yeah. You had a word. Twitter paid. Yeah. It was like when a big butterfly butterflies orgy. were horny. Yeah. Yeah. It's Let's like that, talk right? about sex. Butterflies. That's this is. Huh? It's just a oh. sick butterfly. First, the basics. Like humans, butterflies are either male or female. They mate, joining the tips of their abdomens, and the male passes sperm to the female in order to fertilize her eggs. The female then lays her eggs on plants or on the ground. Yeah. So they still like bang. Yeah. But Was that ever in question? That's a, kind of just that they, they you use the flowers and shit, and they're just fucking no, in the flowers or I something. Said, I didn't know what they're going I on. I said they no one don't explained. use you flowers. You didn't explain shit. You just said they come with spaceships. You think the spaceships and You said how do flowers bang? And it's like, flowers don't no bang. No one wants they to know how pollen. flowers bang. That was never a question. You know what was a question? Was there a Lorax in the Avatar? I understood it perfectly. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. It was never a question that the Lorax existed. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he did. I was like, that's ridiculous. And then Calvin told me it was true. And, and then I was like, wow, okay, I'll believe Calvin. I shouldn't have believed Calvin. <laughs> I don't believe Calvin's at fault. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have interrupted my explanation. <laughs> I didn't. You did. I asked for clarification. I am incredibly an conflicted that we killed that beautiful creature with a chainsaw. Charlie's dead. I just feel bad. Why? Because it's an innocent animal that was killed. Was it? Yeah. How do you know? He's taken over by a butterfly. Because he was at the zoo. Well, how do you know how the butterflies work? What are you talking about? What do you mean? What am I talking about? They they, ho- they take host bodies. Have we ever seen a butterfly take a person's body? What if it's all a lie? You're hearing that from Mern. Can you trust Mern? Can't we see the butterflies in their heads? Yeah. What's that got to do anything? They're in there. They've what's controlled that do anything? them, right? What if they came from space? They did come from space. Exactly. That doesn't prove anything that you're saying. What do you mean? I'm saying that Charlie is an innocent animal. I'm saying that gorilla came from space with a butterfly no in his way. head. No, the, the, he was the in the zoo. Not, the ship's not big enough. He was in the zoo. He was acting. He didn't have a space. And one night, he was just gone. But I don't know what happened. No, we, was, no, we saw the newspaper saying, "Beloved, innocent, it was a, beautiful creature, Charlie it, escapes from zoo." Yeah, one, that's what you do with your, with your kidnappers. You try to like humanize one, them. It didn't say any of that. Two, it was on TV. <laughs> It was a newspaper. The newspaper said Kite Man. <laughs> <laughs> it did say Kite Man. <coughs> I don't know why I was so fucking hyped that it's Kite Man. They can't ice ca- Kite Man. Because of Harley Quinn. I know. But, still. Uh, no, I don't know. I just don't know all the rules of the butterfly, so I'm not going to be sad that you're like, oh, that beautiful gorilla. Well, the old lady who was just like, hi, can I help you? <laughs> Yeah, fuck that bitch. I'm, nah, just the gorilla <laughs> shouldn't have been in that zoo to be able to be, you know, captured anyway, right? It was, it's, it shouldn't be living in captivity. It should be out in the wild, enjoying gorilla things. And it's not, it's sad, it's sad all the way down. Eric, how do you know that there's not more gorillas, like, in Africa taking over by butterflies right now or some shit? Where I mean, gorillas there from? might be, but gorillas I can still, I don't know where the gorillas like, nothing you've said has invalidated my feelings about Charlie. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, if he... Just Nothing has cast a doubt. I'm just saying, just because he's in the zoo doesn't yeah. mean, like, ah, well, this beautiful creature now... Like, he, anyway, he could have been anywhere. You never look at the zoo and feel bad for the animals? I don't go to the zoo. You've been... I've seen you in the zoo. I'm not on... Not because I wanted to. <laughs> I could Why just were you there, up, then? Because we went for WaveCon, and I have fucking kids that want to see an elephant and shit. You know what? Well, that's you, an important experience You go for there, you know where the elephants are? Way the fuck back there where their only shade is in the water pool. They don't put that in the front. So you gotta like, look, there's an the elephant. The kid's are like, where, where? You're like, over there. You're like, I've been I don't there see it. Real close. It's terrible. Yeah. I've been there Such, when they almost like stepped yeah. on me. They should just step on you. Yeah. They were no. real close. No. The if closest I, put my, I ever saw If I'd put an my elephant, foot like four feet forward, four I would have been crushed. The closest, yeah. Entirely. I, there's a wall! <laughs> Four yeah. feet through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the closest I've ever been to an elephant was in the DC Zoo, and it was doing something with its dick, and like Ayla Arcane was like, What's that? And it's its like, other tail. <laughs> it's his penis. <laughs> it's his pee pee. And then it started peeing everywhere, and they were like, Oh, I'm laughing at it. Fire hose. It's really funny. Yeah, but you could see so much more on like YouTube, and just as much. I wonder if the host. You ever ridden an elephant at the zoo? Have you ever the felt the the footfalls of an elephant on YouTube? No. What? I don't feel you like can't. a zoo either. 
Well, you're not close enough. Ain't no way I'm going out close enough. You need to go to the zoo more, Aaron, so that you so that you get those what if, experiences. What if he hosts are already dead? Like what if that gorilla is already dead and Economos then I can still feel bad for saved him. him from nothing really. I yeah. guess he's just already dead. Yeah, if he's already dead, freed his better. body. He doesn't have to feel a chainsaw going in his back and out his chest. That's good, but he I can still feel bad. But he was screaming in pain. He also yeah. said fucking human or something, right? Yeah, I imagine that was the butterfly, but it could have been Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> fucking die, human! Yeah, he was like yeah. pissed off, whatever it was. But that could have been the butterfly, not Charlie. I just want to know Poor how Charlie. much of these things are there. Like, they did not seem like people at all whenever they're like, you know? <laughs> yeah, but like Mern like, kind of acts like Mern, but I don't know. Have we known Mern pre-butterfly, or no. has he always been butterfly? Always been a butterfly. Is that what you think? Yeah. Like, it wasn't like he got infected, like, at the mansion or anything? Mm-mm. I don't know. Well, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if he if he's a butterfly now, why isn't he, like, completely sabotaging their mission so that I, they stop getting I don't at the know butterflies? What butterfly why did he burns? let them take out no. their bottling facility? My, my idea is that he was always a butterfly and that he switched sides because either he got a conscience or... He's trying to upset the stability of well, the butterfly empire. What or happened something. here when she saw him? He goes, so he's chasing after her. Because she, and shit. he needs to stop her so that he can explain himself, so that the team doesn't turn against him and just kill him. You think Peacemaker walk in and just bam, dead? Oh, he definitely would have, hundred percent. He wouldn't have hesitated. He kept that one butterfly. Yeah. Which I thought, uh, I thought she was going to see it in the. I thought she was going to find it too in the trailer. But apparently, he has it hidden away somewhere. Yeah. It's probably in the toilet, and Eagly is sitting on the toilet lid so that it can't get out. What if it went down? Down the toilet bowl? Yeah. But there's shit in there. Butterflies don't crawl through shit. We don't know that. It went through the butt, maybe. It could have. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> I did like that, like, there's a growth between, uh, Die Beard, Economos, mm-hmm. and, uh, Peacemaker. Yeah. That was cool. Like every episode, they're getting like a bond between. Yeah, we have the Eleventh Street Kids, and yeah, like she even uh, Harcourt even invited in Vigilante. Yeah, which they were rock paper scissoring <laughs> not, not to get. To not have them. <laughs> what? You guys want to check out some Q and A's? Sure. <sighs> I guess so. I'm just so surprised how rage zombie like those those butterfly people were. Like they were like ripping fences I mean, apart and shit. They probably know who they are. So they're probably like, you killed our friends and family. Why is there a chimpanzee We're trying there? to protect our babies. They're stronger than a human. <laughs> they are, man. They're so just, fucking strong. No, I just love his... A gorilla thing. normally could rip a human in half. Yeah, but Peacemaker fought one at Burning Man. Yeah, and he said the one this that was one high was on weaker. drugs was stronger. This one was weaker. <laughs> but he broke his dick. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the one at Burning Man broke his dick. I t- what was it? I taped a grenade to a tank shell? A Russian tank shell, yeah. <laughs> Tad Cooper says, if you had a pet bald eagle, what would you name it? Why does he sound like that? What was his name? Tad Cooper. Uh, that's a Tad's voice. What would I name a bald eagle no. pet? No, what would you nickname your dick? I've changed Tad's question. <laughs> <laughs> that's not, My own dick? But yeah. He, he, wanted a, he wants a different question. Uh, I, I, I gotta like answer. Mine. I gotta answer the an eagle yeah. one. You can answer the dick one. No. Yeah, okay. I, I, I dips on the eagle terms. ones. You can't just dictate the question and ignore the question that was asked. <laughs> dictate. Well, name the eagle Garrett and Why? my dick. Shredder. I don't know why I was expecting something. Wash. Splinter? Other than that. I named the eagle Wash. Your dick is Wash? No, the eagle's Wash. Why would I name my dick Wash? <laughs> you need to wash it. Well, sure, but that's not the what you name it. marker on it. Wash. Fucking name it Mr. Snuggles after the damn snuggle bear from the... the what's the... That's a good one for your dick. What's the fucking shit? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, what fucking Mr. shit? It's, uh, it's that the fabric, fabric softener, softener, right? Oh. It, has a, it has a fucking snuggle yeah. bear. Snuggle bear. Okay. Anyway, Tad, okay, there you go. It's a weird Snuggles. question that you want to ask about our dicks. Yeah, but Tom, what was your name? That makes it soft. What was your, what was your eagle name? I don't know. Do you have a dick name then? No. You gotta name something, Calvin. Name it. Name it. Steve. 
For what? Oh, I know. I don't want to tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, movie polls. Uh, hey, Eric and Calvin, I would say, and we all saw Harry Potter. Uh, I don't know if you're aware, but Freddy Stroma, who plays Vigilante, played Cormac M- <coughs> McClagan in Harry Potter in The Half-Blood Prince. Oh, yeah, I knew that. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. pretty cool. I was going to huh. tell you guys, He but was the quidditch giant who had a crush on Hermione and was trying to take up the same spot as Ron. Yes, the keeper. Oh, that guy? Yep. He's British. I forgot who that guy was. Anyway, uh, no, I, uh, now that I see his face and I think about this face, oh, they yeah. are the you same You have a picture face. of his face? Oh, that guy. Yeah. Hmm. Remember he's guy. holding his broom like this, like it's his dick? Oh, Steve? There's a specific shot. The name is Broom Steve. Grant Smith says, okay, I can't for the life of me figure out what planning the diary would accomplish. Why incriminate him when they already have so much real stuff on him? I just imagine it's some type of blackmail form of control that Amanda Waller Dude. has going on off book. Yeah, all they have to do is just, right now they're keeping him out of jail. All they have to do yeah. is just revert that and put him back in jail. Right? Sure. Because he killed the butterfly chick with the force field and that's why she went all like, it was so fucking strong and everything, right? Like she was rage zombied out. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen that before. I don't know why we were so surprised. Fucking Eric. Collectortainment says, hi, do you think James Gunn is giving a tease for possible new Suicide Squad members by adding little cameos and characters like Vigilante, Ma- uh, Matter Eater Lad, Doll Man, and now Kite Man. Kite Man. I feel like they would be a fun team and what their action sequences would look like. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a cool idea. <laughs> Kite Man would be fun. Dip PG says, No, not poor Kite Man. I hope Peacemaker didn't hurt him too bad when he arrested him. Question. If you committed a crime and had no and had to frame one of the crew members for it, who would you frame? Probably not Aaron. He is too innocent looking, like Ariana Grande. Uh, I would frame Rick because Rick would not be able to give an adequate uh, account of his whereabouts. I believe that's probably true. That's probably a good one. Depending on what it is, I could frame Calvin. Mm-hmm. And honestly, depending... Uh, man, it's harder now because you got Obi and Jancy. But, I like, know. I think it'd be easy to put shit in your house and frame mm. you. Good. Because, like, you just go in while you're sleeping. Yeah. You wouldn't hear me or nothing. Just... But now you got Obi. Blah, 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 blah. Like, Shh, just give him some, like, turkey or something. Like, go away. Go away, Obi. It's okay. Here. I'll bet you. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. That's why he's, he's saving the pets. <laughs> he's got to save it. But if it's, like... Some guy's got guns doing some shit. Like, fucking blame Calvin. <laughs> He's, like, watching Peacemaker and be like, I got that gun. Yeah, they'd be like, uh, we need to find someone that has this type of gun. It's like, well, Calvin has that. I'm like, okay. But there's another murder, completely unrelated, that had this type of ballistics. Well, he also has one. Well, Calvin has that one. <laughs> okay, well, this one had a serrated blade. And they just opened up his cabinet. Oh, it's really <laughs> it's just covered in blood. <laughs> no. That was the Q&As. We need a poll. All right, guys, poll for this week. What do you think we have Mern going to be doing to Adebayo? Is he going to kill her? Because he needs to cover up a secret or whatever. Is he going to turn her into a butterfly as well and make him one of the team? Is he going to actually talk to her and explain some things because we don't know what's going on and now she's going to finally know? Or something else that we're not thinking of and you'd be like, hey, you know what? I bet it's this. Could be. <clears throat> Could be that. Let us know. Patreon.com slash BlindWave. Links in the description below. Our poll and our full length both over at Patreon.com slash BlindWave. Find the links in the description and pin comment below. And uh, if you're watching this on Thursday, well, actually any day, go to Twitch.tv slash BlindWave. We might have podcasts on Thursdays, group streams on Fridays, and lots of gaming stuff. You can chat with us, too. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye. <laughs>